Hey everyone, this is Joe. I am the Digital Astronomer. I want to welcome you to my channel. Today we're going to look at one of my favorite tools in astrophotography, Astro Pixel Processor. Most of you know if you've been doing this for a while, you've got a lot of options when it comes to stacking and doing the processing on your images. There's PixInsight, which is sort of the cream of the crop, but it's very expensive. It's a little bit out of my price range, quite frankly. There's Deep Sky Stacker and, and a number of other programs. The one that I've been using is Astro Pixel Processor, and there is a new update that just came out on Astro Pixel Processor that has some cool new features, and one of the features that a lot lot of us have wanted for a while in this program is a star reduction tool. If you do much astrophotography, you know that a lot of times what happens is the uh, stars in your image will kind of overwhelm some of the fainter nebulosity. And so a lot of times you want to reduce the size and intensity of the stars so that you can bring out the nebula and some of the fainter details a little bit more. And uh, I've got a lot of tools that I use to do that with. I've got over in uh, Photoshop, I, I use uh, astronomy tools. Uh, they've got a star, uh, uh, make star smaller routine that you can use. There's many stars. Um, uh, Photochemy in their uh, tool set have got a number of tools that can reduce stars. But uh, I've wanted one in Astro Pixel Processor for a long time, and we finally got it. Now, I want to say this. I want to caveat this picture, this uh, video by saying I'm brand new to this. I've just started using this tool just this past week, but I'm so excited about it. I want to share it with you and get it out there, and while by no means am I an expert in it, I want to show you what I've been doing with it, and then I would love if you're using this tool or if you've got some suggestions Put them in the comments. Uh, let's share together about how we can use this tool uh, to make our, ast our astronomy pictures a little bit better. So with that said, let's go over and let's take a look at this cool new tool in Astro Pixel Processor. I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see here, I've already stacked my data in Astro Pixel Processor. I've gone ahead and combined my HA and O3 files using the combined RGB tool. Got all of those adjustments made, and I've gone ahead and cropped the image. And this is what I've got. Now, overall, this looks okay. This isn't the best picture I've ever taken in my life, but one of the things I wanted to try out, because this has this picture has so many stars in it, uh, I felt like it'd be a good picture to try out the new star reducer tool, and just to see what we could do with it and see how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and go, click on star reducer. Do you want to import the current image into the star reducer tool? I'm going to press yes, and here we are. Now, you'll notice we've got a number of sliders here that we can use, and then some instructions here. Um, so if we click on this button right here, remove stars, what will happen is this will completely remove the stars um, from the picture. Or if we leave this unchecked, we can just simply reduce the size and intensity, which is what I want to do. I don't want to make a starless image. Now, just from experimenting with this, I found that what I've got to do is slide the area radius down to 1.0. Now, you can play around with this and kind of slide it around to figure out. But basically, what happens is, um, is, is this is going to um, um, determine how wide of an area around the star it's going to make adjustments for. And then I can, I can slide this up and down. To determine the star size. So if I want to reduce my stars, let's say by, um, I found that about 75%. Um, let's just try that. And, and what we'll do is we'll click on show stars, reduced or removed. And this will go over and it's going to reduce the size of the stars by 75%. It takes a couple of minutes. This is a little bit slow, 
but it gives you a lot of options as compared to some of the uh, star reduction tools that I've used in Photoshop. Uh, and and um, this gives you a lot more control over the entire process. And so, okay, so you can see it has reduced the size of the stars. Now, one thing that I want you to notice here is on these big stars, that if I go very small, I start getting halos. For instance, let me, let me take that down to around 50 percent and just kind of watch you won't be able to compare uh what happens but but just watch and and see if you can see that the halos here are going to grow um when i click on this on these big stars that's one of the issues that i've found with this tool Let it calculate. It'll take just a couple of seconds. And you notice what's happening. We're kind of really accentuating these halos around these stars. And I find that there is a, a limit to how much I can reduce the size because of that. And, and so I'm actually going to take this up a little bit. I'm going to go at, back out to around 80% because I don't like having these really large halos around my stars. So I'm going to go to reduce the star size to about 80%. But then we can do something else. So let's just let this run and calculate. You notice what it'll do. Stars have gotten a little bit bigger. Halos aren't quite as bad. Okay. Now, the other thing I can do, just, just to kind of give you a comparison, this will take me back. This will show the original. This is the reduced. So you can see it's made a difference. It's reduced the size of those stars. Now I also can come and turn down the peak intensity. And so this will just kind of, I think, determine, according to this, this will uh, um, reduce uh, the size and intensity of the stars. So we've adjusted the size. Now let's adjust the intensity. See what happens if we turn these back a little bit and make them so they're not quite as bright. Now again, remember what the goal in star reduction is. Uh, star reduction is helpful in a field like this where you've just got all kinds of stars that kind of take your attention away from the nebulosity in the image. Okay, so notice what we've done now. Now we've reduced not only the size, but we've also reduced the intensity. So they're not quite as bright. Uh, which is, again, making the nebulosity stand out. Let's compare. This is the original. That's the reduced. So notice you're able to see the nebulosity a little bit better. The other thing we can do is we could come down here. This area correction, uh, basically this controls how much correction is going to be applied. And I'll be honest with you, I've not been successful with sliding this. I found leaving it right at 50% seems to work best for my data. You can experiment it, see what works a little bit better for you. Um, uh, the, the, this last slider is the threshold, which controls uh, the stars that are corrected above the set noise level. And so I found if I take this up to right around 100 um, it gives a pretty pleasing uh, effect. We'll, we'll just zoom in here and, and see what the difference is. So let's let it run. It's going to go ahead and calculate this. Now, what that did was it added in some of the stars that that um, there to that, that it, it it's adjusting for the noise is what it's doing and so this actually brought back some of the stars that it reduced uh, a couple of minutes ago so let, let's just play with that look what happens if we take this down to around 50 we had it at a hundred take it at 50 and let's see what it does there Uh, 
let it run one more time okay and it took a few more of the stars out there um okay overall let's take a look at it. let's let's take a look here's the original stars are really really bright really really bold really big um now let's go to the reduced i think that looks a little bit better so uh, i'm going to go ahead and save that and i'll take it over to photoshop and i'll see what i can do with it but uh i, I kind of like having this star reduction tool up if you've got some tips on how to use it, if you've used it and you found some tips or some tricks that work a little bit better or suggestions i this is uh my first week of playing around with this tool so i really haven't quite completely figured it out yet but um, if you've got some suggestions or better ways to use it, uh, by, by all means, let me know. But I think uh, adding this into um, Astro Pixel Processor is going to be a big help to us all. So um, I, I'm going to go ahead and play around. We'll see what I can come up with. Well, and I'll, I'll show you the final image. Okay, just to show you real quick, this was the original stacked uh, image in Astro Pixel Processor um, when we combined uh, the uh, two RGB, the two files, the HA and the O3 files with a combined RGB. Um, you can see here the stars are pretty bright; they're pretty intense. Uh, we went ahead and uh, cropped it and did our star reduction. And that's what it looked like. Okay, so you can see the intensity of the stars and the size have been reduced. Now, again, we didn't get super aggressive with it. Um, you could you could play around with those figures and, and try to make it a little bit more intense if you wanted. I went over to Photoshop and I did a few other adjustments, and this is what I came up with. Again, um, you probably could get a little bit more... Um, intense about the star reduction but overall i think that came out okay i actually ended up doing this um a few days ago i did a little different um um a version of this and i'll just go ahead and show it to you real quick because i i uh i did the combination a little bit differently in uh astro pixel processor and uh, i ended up doing this um, and this really brought out the blue. This was basically putting it together in sort of a Hubble palette. And, uh, but again, you can see the star reduction went okay. Uh, didn't get real super intense about it. Uh, but you can kind of see, let's just put those two versions there, uh, maybe side by side. And you can see this was with, uh, sort of a true color picture uh, here. This is uh, with a uh, sort of a fake Hubble palette, but uh, my main goal was to kind of bring out the blue a little bit more. And so you can see I really, I really, you know, stood the blue out a little bit. But uh, overall, the point of this uh, video was really not to talk about the, my processing so much, but about how well the star reduction tool in Astro Pixel Processor is. One of the things I will say about it is that it has a lot of control, which is better than uh, most of the other star reduction tools. Uh, I've got a number of them. I've got uh, mini stars. <laughs> I've got over here in astronomy tools, it has a make stars smaller uh, routine that you can click. But there's not a lot of control there. All you do is click on this, run it, and you know you can run it multiple times, but you don't have a lot of control over it. One of the things I think I'm going to like about the Astro Pixel Processor Star Reduction is the fact that you do have a lot of control over the um, uh, how much and what intensity and what you're doing. So you can really kind of kind of dial it in to meet your pictures. Again, I'm not great with it yet. I'm still learning. But uh, this is an exciting new thing. I'm glad that the uh, developers over at Astro Pixel Processor have brought this out. I love this tool, and I'm looking forward to learning how to use it better. If you've got some suggestions on how to use it better, please put them in the comments. I'd love to hear it. I'd love to know a little bit more about how you're doing it, and so I can try out some new techniques and, and uh, see how I can get this thing working. So. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Tune back in next week. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor. Subscribe to my channel. Click on the thumbs up button to give me a like and then share it with your friends to help me spread the word and build my channel. Thanks for tuning in today.